Hello and welcome back. My name is Amul and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Rails 6 with Ruby, of course, on Microsoft Windows 10. So this is Rails 6 website. You can go ahead and read about the Rails released that was on August the 2019. Now, in order to install Rails, we need to have Ruby installed on the system. So go ahead and launch your preferred browser and go to rubyinstaller.org and then hit this download button. Now, Ruby community recommends to install Ruby with DevKit 2.6.x. If you want to install Rails on your system, so go ahead and hit on this download button which says with devkit so go ahead and click on it and save wherever you want to okay so i already have downloaded this ruby installer with devkit 2.6.5 which is available on my desktop so i'm going to just double click on it and then on this window you simply say install anyway if you get it and then hit this i accept the license then click next i'm going to change this folder name to ruby only i also want to use utf8 as a default external encoding hit install next and now this is going to take some time it's going to install ruby uh, devkit and mcs2 as well so it's going to take a minute or two so once it's done i'll be right back okay so thank you for your patience now you can see it's been installed and it's going to run this ridk install to set up this mcs2 so now hit finish now this might have taken some time and I'm going to go with this one and this is going to set up everything for us here we are so it's almost done here trust update Ruby installation took almost four to five minutes okay so you can pause the video and finish for installation on your system then you can uh, resume this video here we go so it's going to install a lot of things for ruby and we are done i just need to press enter now if i go ahead and launch this uh, command prompt and type irb it's going to say so it's it's saying it's working so hello world and it's working it is working now i can exit and i can check the ruby version so it's going to be 2.6.5 i can also go ahead and list the gems installed so simply say gem list and here we are there are a few things we need to have installed before installing rails 6 otherwise otherwise you will run into errors so you make sure you already have node.js installed okay and then yarn as well so i can go ahead and check node i already have node installed 10.15 i also have yarn installed so 1.5 make sure you already have installed node.js and yarn as well otherwise you will run into errors after installing rails so in order to install rails you simply say gem install rails and i do not want to install any documents with rails so simply say rails space hyphen hyphen no document okay so that's the command to install rails without document gem install rails space hyphen hyphen no hyphen document hit enter and again this is going to take some time so i'll pause the video once it starts installing everything i'll pause it and once it's done i'll be right back 
so here we go it's going to install the gems and going to set it up and once it's done i'll be right back Alrighty, thank you for your patience you can see it says successfully installed rails 6 so i'm going to clear the screen and going to check the rails version so simply say rails space hyphen v and you got rails 6 okay so let's go ahead and create something here on the desktop and then uh, i'm going to create a just the demo app so i'm going to go to desktop and i already have created a folder called rails box and i got something in here so it says demo one so i'm going to create another app here so to create an app you simply say rails new i'm going to call it demo two and hit enter okay so that was pretty quick now it's going to install the bundle it's running the bundle install so go ahead and check all the gems required for this application and there's a probability you will run into an error with this sqlite 3 uh, sqlite 3 gem so let's see fetching minimalist public suffix public suffix so there is a very easy fix for um, sqlite 3 gem i will show you net extension boot snap by bug voila so thank you for your patience you can see it gave me an error that says could not find gem sqlite 3 so we need to fix it okay so let's go ahead and open that project in the sublime text so i already have here and then go to gem file just delete everything from here so now it should work just save it and just change the directory to demo 2 and hit enter clear the screen and say bundle install hit enter and now this is going to fetch the sqlite 3 with native extension okay so what does it say now gem file remain installed in hmm okay so let's go ahead and run the server so rails server could not find gem so there's another fix here that we need to go with and that is basically i uh, have something here okay so this is still going to be an issue so simply you will have to look up for it rails um sql light 3 error and github here we are let's check okay here we are here we are hello and thank you for your patience you can see i'm still trying to fix it so i was able to install this sql light with this github link here you can get it from the description below i'll leave it in the description there's a one more error that you may get into that is basically this error that says rails env development environment is not defined in config config web packer so what we need to do is simply say rails uh, 
and then you say installer I guess uh, rails installer yarn I guess yarn let's check and it's here I guess choco 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 I don't know so what do we need to do I already have somewhere so let's go ahead and check tube mint here we are rails error and I've got a post on it which defines everything so here we are this is what okay webpacker I'm sorry so this is going to fix it so I need to run it so it's a very simple rails webpacker column install and this is going to fix this issue but you might still get into error so let's go ahead and check how it's going to fix it okay so we are here it's just trying to update the javascript framework i think dependency and a lot of other things i'm not sure what's happening so this is basically trying to set up the webpack dev server and it's going to link the dependency as well so this is going to take some time post css color functional notation post css values a lot of things okay so this is going to link a lot of dependencies uh, also going to set up this webpacker and here you see it is basically using this yarn so make sure you already have yarn installed okay yarn add Ooh, warning warning and warning so a lot of things have been included in this rails 6 now let's go ahead and run the server so rails s and this should launch the server but there's a possibility we will get into error once again and it's taking long time to launch it it's just oh puma is taking very long time here we go booting puma and i can go ahead and check no license field okay oh, here we are so local host 3000 ruby on rails and let's see if this comes up so you can see it says we ran into an error sqlite so i'll go ahead and change this so i'm going to just remove this thing here save it and what quickly i'm going to do here uh, basically stop the server bundle install and then i'm going to run server again so this should fix it i'll be right back okay guys so thank you for your patience so what i did basically i just removed everything from here and then i updated this sqlite gem with this simple command and then went ahead and ran this bundle install and uh, just launched the server with rails server and now it's working you can see here so basically this is how you install ruby on rails uh, 6 on windows 10 with a lot of errors so there is possibility you will keep getting error and error so just google it if if you don't see that specific error that you are getting being encountered here on my system so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any issue please leave in the comment i will try to answer it thank you so much have a nice day goodbye for now